Some folks out there have been playing with the Instax cartridge adapter in Kodak EK4 and EK6 type cameras. Anything with that sort of form factor, like this color burst. Now I didn't have very good luck with it, and I certainly wouldn't recommend it on any of the automatic ejection cameras. But regardless, some people have been asking me about how to take apart the roller section and use the little brackets I designed to tighten the roller pressure. So let's go ahead and do that. First just open the bottom section, and you gotta find these two screws that need to be removed. Pressing on the button on the front presses on this spring, which both opens the camera and also allows access to those screws. Now the bottom section just pulls off. There is a little button in there that could fall out, but it pops back in pretty easily. Here's the metal bracket we're gonna be replacing that puts pressure on the two rollers. And this is a big spring that holds the brackets in. It's held in with these two clips. So you just need to pop these out and then the spring pops out. Just be careful because it can kind of blowing out at you. Move the spring out of the way and then just take out the two brackets. You could take the rollers out now if you wanted to, but we don't need to. Here's a comparison of the original bracket and the 3D printed one. So just go ahead and pop the new brackets in. Here's a close up view. And now the spring goes on top. I didn't do it quite right, it's not centered. So I have to remove it again, make sure to center it this time, and then pop it back in. It does take a bit of force. And there we go, it's in. Now these brackets are made out of PLA, and this is a constant force on them. So they might deform, or maybe there's not enough room for them to deform, I'm not exactly sure. But also they only take two minutes to print and this isn't very hard to take apart. So maybe you're just better off printing new ones when you need them. Or you can try different materials. That's up to you. The one spring that holds the door on, it can be a little bit fiddly, but it only goes in one way. and then the final screws, and you're done. All right, that's it. I hope it was helpful. See you next time.